Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so let's cover up another technical today. I'm sure you all must have heard a lot about consolidation, right? So today we will discuss on the consolidation patterns. I mean, a set of consolidation pattern, which is used to identify whether a stock will give a breakout or a breakdown. Okay, now the thing to note here is when it comes to consolidation, we have a lot many flavors to it. Okay, but in this video, we will restrict ourselves to discuss about only one type of consolidation pattern okay so first thing first what is consolidation well in layman's term it's a place on the charts where the candlesticks make a sidewise pattern okay so basically you will see the candlesticks would not be moving in any of the directions rather they will place themselves side by side okay and when these candle candlestick formations happen Normally, you will not see a candlestick that would be a big, that would be a bigger in size, I mean, okay. So, the size of the candlestick would be very, very normal, okay. And when I say the size of the candle, I'm considering the highs and the lows of the candlesticks, okay. So, consolidation happens with a couple of candlesticks, okay, 5, 6, 8, 10, 4, 5, any number of candlesticks, okay. Consolidation cannot happen in a single candlestick, okay, with a single candlestick, I'm sorry. So, if it is a consolidation, it has to be a couple of candlesticks, okay. So, here, when I say the size of the candlestick, I'm considering the highs and the lows of the candlesticks, okay, which makes an entire candlestick, okay. I'm not talking about just the body of the candlestick and I'm not talking about the open and the close of the candlestick, okay. I'm talking about the entire candlestick, okay, the high and the low of the of the candlesticks okay i hope that is clear so coming back to the point so now we know that a consolidation is happening and how do we know that i just explained it before some time okay now it's time to anticipate in which direction will the consolidation break itself okay so after the consolidation is over okay three things can happen okay only three things can happen post the consolidation first Either it will give you a breakout, second, it might give you a breakdown, and the third one is it will continue consolidating without giving a breakout or a breakdown. These are the only three things that can happen post consolidation. Okay, now it's our expertise, it's our technical expertise that will come into picture here using which we need to anticipate in which direction the consolidation will break itself, okay? So to understand it better, let's move on to the charts, okay? And please note that we are not going to talk about any kind of triangles here, okay? Because the moment you see this diagram on the screen, you might feel that I'm going to uh, discuss about some triangle patterns, okay? Like the ascending triangle or the descending triangles. No, we are not going to do that, okay? Those are completely different things and are not in the scope of this video, okay? Here in this video, just look at the things the way I'm showing it to you. Please do not compare things and get confused, okay? So, on the screen, you have two diagrams, right? Uh, two diagrams. The left-hand side diagram shows you that the after the consolidation, so this is the consolidating area wherein the candlesticks were moving side by side and finally it gave a breakout in the upward direction. Okay, and the right-hand side diagram shows you that the consolidation is happening from here to here and after the consolidation, the breakdown was given in the downward direction. 
okay now coming to the let me explain these two things one after the other okay so on the left hand side diagram okay if you see it carefully the candlestick highs are hitting the resistance repeatedly right so this pink line that you see here on the top the horizontal pink line that you see here the candlesticks highs are hitting that particular resistance continuously or repeatedly and the candlestick lows okay are moving up eventually they are moving up okay but see in the live market you cannot expect the candlesticks to be uh, like uh, you know uh, 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 very very plain or in a synchronized manner okay uh, in the live market the candlestick lows will be randomly placed that is why i have drawn the diagram like that what you need to see here you don't have to see the evenness of the lows of the candle what you need to see here is whether the lows of the candles are eventually moving up or not they are moving up right diagonally they are moving uh, to, towards the upward direction right that is why i have um, drawn this pink line in a diagonally upward fashion okay so two things we have discussed till now the uh, uh what do we say uh, sorry the highs of the candle are continuously testing the resistance and the lows of the candles are continuously moving in the upward direction okay one more important point to note here is whenever the candlesticks retest a resistance again and again that particular resistance becomes weaker and larger becomes the chances of it to be breached so this is the resistance here and this resistance is being tested by the candlesticks again and again one time two times three times four times okay so the more number of times a particular resistance will be tested the more or the larger is the chance that that particular resistance will be breached and the candlestick will give a breakout in the upward direction so that is one pointer that you should always keep in mind whenever you see a consolidation happening okay so finally in this particular candlestick the breakout happened okay now how do you anticipate in which direction the stock has more chances to move okay so in this example the stock gave a breakout in the upward direction but how do you anticipate it okay this is the most important thing that you need to learn right so we have discussed the first factor okay wherein the resistance is being tested multiple number of times and that would be the first factor why we can anticipate that the candlestick can give a breakout in the upward direction another factor that you need to keep in mind is the direction of the market where is the nifty moving towards okay where is nifty heading towards okay if the overall trend of nifty is bullish for the day now remember i'm talking about the overall trend of nifty for today only i am not concerned about nifty's uh, yesterday's trend or any previous day's trend i'm only talking about today's nifty's trend okay so if the overall trend of nifty is bullish for today then more are the chances that the stock will give a breakout in the upward direction okay so these are the two factors that you should have in your mind to anticipate what might happen or in which direction a particular stock can give a breakout okay so this was the complete explanation about the left hand side diagram now let's move on to the right hand side diagram okay everything remains the same just that uh, just that the direction will be changed okay let me explain it again now in this right hand side diagram what you see here is that the candlestick lows okay these are the candlestick lows okay the candlestick lows are hitting the support repeatedly so this horizontal line pink line that you see it is acting as a support and the lows of the candlesticks are hitting or retesting that particular support level again and again
okay so what do you understand by this it means that there are more chances that this support level might be breached in some time and the break down might happen in the downward direction that is point number one point number two is we talked about the lows of the candle okay now see what are the highs of the candles are doing the highs of the candles are moving lower and lower this is a high of uh, yeah this is the high of the candle the next candle high is lower than this okay eventually it is getting lower now as i said in the live market we cannot really expect the uh, evenness okay that is the reason why i have drawn the candlesticks like this okay but what you need to note here is that the highs of the candlesticks should be eventually moving down like this diagonally moving down okay so that is the point okay so the highs of the candles are eventually moving down and the lows of the candles are testing the support levels repeatedly okay so these are the things that you need to have a look when you are anticipating that the candlesticks might be giving you a breakdown in the downward direction okay so uh just a moment let me think if i am missing something out here uh no we covered it all so finally so finally the breakdown happened here in this particular candlestick okay now again how do you anticipate in which direction the stock has more chances to give a move okay the first factor we just discussed wherein the support is being tested multiple number of times okay the second factor that you need to keep in your mind as i told earlier as well is the direction of the market okay where is the nifty heading if nifty is in a bearish trend for today then we can anticipate that the stock might give us a breakdown in the downward direction it has more chances of giving us a breakdown rather than giving us a breakout in an upward direction okay so have a look or have a very close eye on the direction of nifty where is it trending for today okay so i hope this is clear enough guys and that i was able to explain the things in a simpler way okay so now let's get on to today's market okay let's get on to today's market today's chart uh, today is 16th of april thursday okay so uh, let's get on to the charts uh, and uh, this consolidation pattern was seen in two stocks now today nifty was completely bullish right so i was able to find two stocks wherein this type of uh, bullish consolidation was happening okay uh, the first one is ujivan and the second one is titan okay let me explain it again one after the other so in ujivan consider this this pattern okay this the right hand side uh, purple thing okay so uh, the market was bullish and if you see here the highs and the lows of the candles are not even as i said in the live market you cannot expect everything to be even okay you need some good amount of practice a good amount of experience to see and uh, you know uh, see and differentiate these patterns okay so this was one of the bullish consolidation pattern that happened uh, in ujivan right so this was the resistance you have to draw the line manually okay so this was the resistance which is being tested again and again and if you see here the lows of the candlesticks are eventually moving up okay so that was the first point the second point was since the nifty was absolutely bullish today we anticipate that ujivan will give a breakout in the upward direction which it did okay so how do you place your orders again just to repeat uh, if you have not seen my previous videos i have explained this in my previous videos please do have a look just for a quick recap let me repeat it again so if you are anticipating that this particular stock ujivan will give you a breakout in the upward direction how do you place your order you cannot wait for this green candle to uh, you know complete and then take a long position right you have to take the position immediately after the breakout so that you have a good amount of time to place your stop loss and a good amount of time to wait in the trade to be in the trade and then book your profits right so how do you do that 
you place a stop loss buy order just above this purple line okay so you uh, so if let's say if the range of this consolidation upper range of this consolidation is around 159.75 place your stop loss buy order somewhere around 160.50 or 160.75 so that when the breakout happens it takes your buy order and you have ample amount of time to place your stop losses and to book your profit okay so this was today's candle okay another bullish consolidation happened uh, on the 13th of april but that consolidation happened by the end of the market this red candle that you see here is the 3 15 pm candle that is the last candle of the day on the charts right so if you see if you see a bullish uh, yeah if you see a bullish consolidation happening towards the end of the market then what will you anticipate the anticipation that you can make is that the next day that particular stock might open gap up okay but remember that will not be the case every time that will be the case in most of the cases but you cannot take it for granted that i have got a bullish consolidation by the end of the market so i will blindly take a long position the next day you should not be doing that okay so that is how you anticipate things that is how you read the stuffs or the read the technicals on the charts okay so this was about ujivan guys let's move on to titan okay exactly the same scenario the consolidation started right from here the highs of the candlesticks were retesting the resistance level again and again repeatedly and the lows of the candles were eventually making higher highs okay or higher lows whatever you say okay so that gives you the confirmation just by seeing that this is a bullish consolidation that is happening and since the market is bullish i anticipate that titan can give a breakout in the upward direction okay so you if the consolidation upper range is around 972 you place a stop loss buy order at 973 or 974 wherever you feel like okay so that whenever the breakout happens it takes your buy order accordingly and then you have enough time to place your stop losses to place uh, and to book your profits whenever it is uh, whenever you feel like whenever you are satisfied with your profits okay so this was all about ujivan and titan i did not uh, make any effort to find a bearish consolidation pattern i'm sorry about that because i knew that uh, if i would have explained that it would have taken some more time okay but i hope that the things are clear okay there's no difference between uh, uh i mean the fundamental remains the same between the bullish and the bearish uh, confirmations uh, sorry bullish and the bearish consolidations okay uh and if you have understood this diagram these two diagrams then i'm sure you have understood both bullish and bearish consolidation okay so this is how you read the charts okay so i hope it was helpful guys i hope uh, it was helpful again please do remember and make it a point and make yourself understand that in the live market in order for you to find such consolidations you need to be comfortable with the charts there is no other way okay as i always say the more time you spend with the charts the more friendly they become with you okay and trust me you don't have to do it all your life give it a couple of months to know what the charts are talking about and then after that when you become comfortable in understanding the charts you can chill okay you can chill out and uh, you can make money which will not be tough at all okay also you need not give a whole lot of time to analyze the charts because you are already comfortable in understanding those stuffs okay but the main thing is in order for this to happen in order for you to get comfortable with the charts in order for you to start minting money in the market you need to give every damn thing you have okay your time your energy your focus your discipline every freaking sorry every freaking thing that you have 
okay and that will show you what wonders can you do in the market okay so that's it from my end guys and as always would request you all to like and uh, like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of the video as you will get some more information about syit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comments section and i will surely answer back to them and also please do not forget to like the videos if you liked it okay so that's all from my end guys and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading stay back home bye bye